Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Katie Huff, and you are listening to Setting Yourself Free, a podcast where we are encouraging people to be set free from whatever's holding you back from being, doing, and having all that you were created to be. And we are on episode number 23 with the beautiful Leslie Henderson, and I'm excited to have her as my guest, and I don't want you to miss it, so I'm going to tell you exactly where to find us on www.katy-huff.com to learn more about my book, coaching courses, and retreats. Follow Katie Huff Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more encouragement and stay up to date on all things happening with Katie Huff Ministries. And with that, I have Miss Leslie Henderson here, who is um, so gracious with her time to be able to share with us exactly what she has set herself free from. So Leslie, thank you and welcome to the podcast. And what have you set yourself free from, girl? Oh, gosh. So I I, want to say um, I set myself free from um, a life of living in a location that I did not like. (laughs) How about that? Um, So I used to live in Missoula, married Mr. Wrong, who took me to Reno, Nevada, which was not my jam, Um, got divorced, and their child custody law has not been updated since 1803. Very antiquated. Um, So I was successful in getting full custody of my kids, but with the caveat that after the first 12 months of no contact, they had to visit dad one weekend a month. And so I had to live in Reno and it was not, that didn't make me happy. (laughs) At this point, I've got a 19 year old and a 21 year old and I get to choose where I live. So I brought myself right back here to Missoula, Montana, because that does make me happy. So I set myself free from, I guess, restraint. Um, of something that was beyond my control. I mean, and it was just what it was. There was, I I threw $300,000 at trying to get out of that situation until I finally realized it it was a no win deal. And then I buckled down and went into survivor mode and just worked my tail off for a long time to where I really had I don't know. I just put all my energy into that. And mm-hmm. now I've got a couple of kids who are like, mom, all you did was work when we were little. And I'm like, well, yeah, I kept my mind off other things. But anyway, I'm free from all of that. Have great relationships with both my kids now and um, getting things back on track. Wow. So you really did um, set yourself free from the um, restraint, like you said, and also um, you really endured not only a financial, but it had to have been very emotionally um, trying and yes. spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially. I mean, it sounds like that all is all wrapped up in one big bow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, in, I mean, I can't just a hundred percent knock the state law because it does say that if the other parent agrees to allow you to move, it's cool, but of course he wouldn't. So, um, you know, that's that. Um, I didn't have any family in that area. My family is all from mm, Kentucky, Virginia, Georgia, Florida, and there I was stuck in Montana. So I not only had no help, my children grew up not knowing their cousins, their aunts, uncles, grandparents. It was really unfortunate in so many ways. And, you know, what it came down to between the mom and dad was the fight. Like everybody was all about winning the fight and the children got left behind. And it was a really unfortunate way to spend the last 15 years of my life. Wow. So the sequence of events was um, survival mode is what it sounds like and do the best you can with what you've been dealt, which obviously you did a great job because you have two very successful adult children yes. and now have been set free and coming back to God's country. Yes. This is awesome. So how have you seen God moving in your life to set yourself free? Well, I prayed um, once my son turned 18 for um remote work so that I could relocate because I was in a a role that required that I lived in Reno. Um, And then on May 13th, well, actually, let me back up to May 12th. May 12th of this this year, 2022, 
I received a letter from my landlord that said, oh, I'm selling the house. You can have first right to purchase it for 600,000. It's a $400,000 house. So no thanks. Um, and I was like, okay, great. Now I got to move in 60 days and I have no idea where I'm going to go. Didn't want to buy or rent anything in the Reno market because I didn't even want to be there. Right. Um, and then the next day we had a work meeting on zoom. I worked for a startup real estate online brokerage. And, um, literally we had a three minute call where they're like, um, so yeah, our next round of investments was denied. We don't have any money. And everyone's last day is today. Wow. And all of my coworkers were crying and calling like, what are we going to do? And I was like, I don't freaking care, but I'm out of here. <laughs> I was happy. Um, I wasn't really worried about what am I going to do for money or anything. I was like, now I'm really free. And so that kind of just put everything into motion for me. I was like, all right, now the sky's the limit. So I I uh, started putting my resume out there, got that remote work, and here I am. That's awesome. 90 days later. Oh, yeah. that's incredible because, you know, it's it's lining right up into the next question that I have you is, how have you seen God moving in your life to set yourself free? Well, obviously, um, doors were opening, remote work was opened, and what else would you say? I pretty much got kicked in the butt. Get out of here. Um, so the next day, May 14th, which was Saturday, I was driving over to Elko, Nevada to meet my daughter for Mother's Day. Um, it's halfway point. She lives in Salt Lake City. And I had a blowout, Winnemucca, Nevada, middle of nowhere. Every tow company was like, yeah, it'll be about five hours. But I had that blowout. And again, I wasn't upset. I literally, I sat in my car. I was like, what else you got? God, I'm tough. I got this. Uh -huh. And I heard his voice in my car. And my little dog, Ginger was with me. And I was like, Ginger, did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> <That's been laughs> it said, you know, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're tough. You're strong. You've got this. And, um, literally right at that second, a highway patrol men pulled up behind me I was in a kind of a bad spot on the road there wasn't a shoulder it was very windy it was a blizzard my car's white um semis were blowing all around but he came up behind me and put his lights on and called a um game warden actually who had brighter lights um to just keep us safe while we got the tire changed and it all worked out wow well, I'm just saying God never leaves you or forsakes you. And that's obviously a, a total, you know, two by four, the Holy Spirit two by four that hits you. And you're like, okay, he doesn't leave me. He didn't leave me on the side of the road. He had a plan for me. He protected yeah. you and helped you get set free, even in that situation that when you look back and, you know, I always say when you get quiet and you pray and you pause and you have peace, it's kind of like the bullhorn that you hear from him as long as you are willing to just rest and be quiet. And so when you're on the side of the road, I'm pretty sure you were probably resting and quiet. And like you said, you, you heard him loud and clear. So I heard him loud and clear. It that, was real. Mm -hmm. that is awesome. And so here you are moved to Montana, which is amazing. As I said, God's country. And so what advice would you give someone who may be going through something similar? That if you be silent and know that God will always provide you with the answer, as long as you are open to the answer, it may not be what you thought, but just be still and know that he already knows where you need to be and how you're going to get there. And he'll show you the way if you get out of your own way. Mm. That's a, an amen for sure. Because he, he knows every hair on our head. He knew us before we were even born and his plan has been perfect. And it's always right on time. And I always tell people he's never early, but he's also never late. And I always say he comes through at the 11th hour, 59 minute and 59 second, as long as you are willing to surrender to his plan, which obviously I would say, why would you settle for the frosting when he wants you to have the whole cake? Yep. So awesome. So where do, do you go from here and beginning to move forward? Obviously you're in Montana. So 
the you know the final question is where do they where would a person start to begin to set themselves free well um there's a saying that i love um it is and when you get to where you're going don't forget to turn around and help her too because mm -hmm. not long ago that was you amen so i now am thinking back to all the mistakes i made in marrying a narcissistic wrong guy in you know fighting a battle that could have been fought differently um and maybe honestly the thing i've learned from i have a lot of friends who are attorneys and they're like you know you, instead of filing for divorce you can actually just go on an extended vacation with your kids and not come back and then dad has no rights i'm like oh why didn't someone tell me that 20 years ago? There's a wow. lot of things. Uh, uh, there's a lot of knowledge in my toolbox now that can help people that are behind me. Mm. And um, I was that person. And so I feel called at this point to help people mm. that are in a similar situation to the one I put myself in. And right. I say I put myself in because I did. There were signs. A lot of people were like, ooh. Oh yeah. That guy. Why, why do you want to marry that person? Why? And I ignored them all. And that's what happens. I, God was trying to show me the way then. And I didn't listen. Oh but yeah. I had a big price. Well, you know, um, I wear that t-shirt very well myself, as you know, my book called unmasked yes. the power of courage and vulnerability to live free. No more yes. settling shame or self-betrayal. Right. It's, um, exactly where I was back in 2013 when I got engaged to a man that was didn't even know God. And um, but, you know, we we as women and, and I, I don't even think it's just a women thing. I think we as humans, even men have their boxes that they check when they're finding a woman or a wife. You know, is she pretty? Is she successful? Is she respectful? And ours is, is he handsome? Is he going to provide? Is he fun? Is he healthy? You know, we all have our check boxes. And, and of course, the most important one from, you know, coming over the hill of all this for me was looking back and going, okay, the number one most important characteristic is does he know Jesus and does he know God? In my and thank God I sat for three years praying healing and took my mask off of settling, obviously, yeah. and then obviously meeting and and actually letting God pick my my husband because I say in my book my picker was broke. I was picking all the wrong men for all the wrong reasons, Leslie. And so, mm -hmm. man, it's when you get, done that, yeah. yeah, we have a tendency, you know, we <laughs> bring together, flock together, right? So that's why we're such mirrored in what we um, have done, but yeah, you're so right. And the beauty of um, being through the test is it becomes your testimony and the mess becomes our message. So then, like you said, you have that arsenal of tools to be able to reach back or side, right, left up. When you find another woman that is going through a similar thing that you could say, been there, done that. Hopefully I can come along alongside you and yeah. give you the advice that you just did for them to be set free which is um, a beautiful gift when you look at it. And so we go from broken to blessed and being a blessing, which is awesome. So I, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you yeah. For yeah. your time it's, it's, and anything else you want to say before we. Oh, I was just saying I have a timer on my lights. I'm not saying I have to go. Um, my lights went dark. Okay. No, well, um, I just, I, it feels good to help other people avoid mm -hmm. mistakes that you know the outcome of. And so mm -hmm. just really excited that my journey has brought me to where it has and excited mm -hmm. to see where it continues to take me. Exactly. Cause mm -hmm. we would, we wouldn't be where we are today if we hadn't gone through it and we wouldn't be the people that we are today to be able to bless others with the blessings that we've had. So I just want to say thank you so much for coming on and sharing your heart and your, your journey of being set free and you're um, in such a better place. And, and I'm excited for people to hear this, this episode of setting yourself free. And so until next time, go to www.katy-huff.com to learn more about my book coaching courses and retreats and follow Katie F Ministries on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more encouragement 
and stay up to date on all things happening with Katie Huff Ministries. So thank you, Miss Leslie Henderson. Thank for you, blessing Katie. So yes. good to reconnect yeah. with you after many yes. years. <laughs> yes, it's another blessing that we get to check. So thank you so much and God bless all of you. And I look forward to you following us on Setting Yourself Free. Thank Bye. you. God bless. Hello, friends and family. This is Katie Huff with Katie Huff Ministries. The reason that I'm reaching out to you today is because I have had the incredible experience of using the My Pillow products. So, what products are there? There's the pillow, of course. There's the sheets. There's the towels. And in fact, my puppy even has a dog bed. So, I'm reaching out to you because I have the opportunity to help you to save a lot of money when you find these products to be such use for you and your family. So you can go to mystore.com slash unmasked is my promo code. So you're going to want to use my promo code to get those discounts or mypillow.com slash unmasked. That way you're going to get an incredible discount. You're going to enjoy the sheets, the pillows, the towels, and hopefully your, your little pet will enjoy the dog bed as well. Thank you.